This property has been in my family. I'm the third generation. Its history is raising tobacco. Uh, my grandparents raised it, my father helped, and then now it's me. The last time tobacco was raised here was um, 12 years ago. I remember my grandparents, my grandpa going to the barn and picking, when it was hanging, drying out, seasoning, that he would pick it and chew it and test it to see if it's ready to start stripping. Well, at one time it was the, the big cash crop. Ever, all most families uh, grow tobacco and, and they live from their tobacco year to year. Families were together. I mean, they worked together. They uh, was able to socialize together. So it was a family event, you might say. I do smoking cessation classes here at the Hill Department. We offer a 12-week step-down program. The prevalence of smoking in this community is, is very high. It is culturally accepted. A lot of parents feel like, you know, well, you know, smoking is not as bad as drug use or not as bad as alcohol. And even I've heard of parents buying cigarettes for their kids. Smoking on this community has um, took its toll. It's, they've, I've lost a lot of people I know to smoking, to lung cancer. My dad smoked for 30 years and had a massive heart attack six months after he retired. Uh, didn't, uh, uh, he wasn't deceased at that time, but it, it affected his way of life, you know, his quality of life for the next 20 years. And uh, it's, it's the number one cause of heart and, and lung disease in Eastern Kentucky. It's just been a, uh, a bad cause and effect of good and bad with uh, making money, but poor health. The idea came about uh, with the tobacco prevention and cessation program, sent out an email about providing grants. And then one of the options was uh, doing the 1-800-QUIT-NOW on a barn, on a, a well-traveled road. And that just very, in that just intrigued me. And then it was different. I think sometimes you need to do something different to awaken people up. As soon as I read that and I thought, Mountain Parkway, East Mountain Parkway, what? Better corridor that people travel through. I think over 10,000 people a day travel Mountain Parkway. So I told my supervisor, I said, I've got a project I want to go work on. Uh, I thought it was kind of ironic we were putting a quit smoking on a tobacco barn. You know, it's kind of kind of weird, but uh, the funding was there, and as a director and is in my department, we was going to be one of the first ones in the state to get to, to do the project. Uh, I, was, I was excited about it. Uh, the old uh, advertisements on the barns, and they all had the same lettering, they all had the same coloring, they all had the same same basic advertising, simple. And I think as far as I've done billboards and different things and the newspaper articles, a lot of times you have to do simple. People don't want to read a lot. You need to do simple, straight to the point. That way you can catch people's eye. I was approached by the health department wanting me to put that on my barn. <laughs> And I was like, what? What? And they said it'd be perfect, perfect place off the mountain parkway. And they told me what it would uh, symbolize. And I said, okay, sure. I said it maybe help, you know, the community. The process of getting the barn painted. I'm from McGoffin and I want to promote McGoffin. I've always wanted to promote McGoffin and work diligently with different organizations to promote McGoffin and bring things in here. So I thought, you know, I want some to use by local. So we had a, uh, a lady that, uh, her name's Kelly Hatfield, she'd done some murals in town. So I drove around and looked at the murals and I thought, you know, this, I think this could work. Whenever I was first asked to do the barn mural project, I was a little nervous because it's a lot larger of a scale than anything that I had completed before, but I was up for the job. <laughs> When it when was a painting, it, you know, I had people going up and I said, how many letters they got on it? You know, when are we going to get it done? I said, well, they got the KE on it today. I had so many phone calls and texts uh, wanting to know, what is that they're painting on your barn? And I'm like, well, you're going to have to wait and see. I've had several people, um, you know, call and text and wanting to call that number. To me, this barn mural symbolizes a change in our education as far as health and, you know, tobacco-related illness back 50 years ago, whenever all the mill pouch tobacco barns were, you know, everywhere, people didn't understand what that done to their health, and now we have resources available. I think that 
This being a community effort helped to draw attention actually to the barn because a lot of people that I know personally have approached me and said, I saw your mural. A lot of people that smoke actually. And I'm thinking, you know, you can't push people into something. But you know, in the future, whenever they're, you know, if they get in that situation where they really want to quit smoking or they really need help, they'll remember that. That'll stand out. Yeah. I know it signifies Again. tobacco and everything, but it's history. And I love history. I love preserving. I love mixing history with the future. And I think now it's more going towards the future. So I'm very, very proud of that. This program was funded in part by a grant from the Foundation for a Healthy Kentucky, investing in communities, informing health policy.